Welcome again to the complete free Flutter course presented by yours truly, Ovidius Mansuru. In this second lesson of the second module, in which we're doing a deep dive of Dart's objects oriented programming, we're going to go over inheritance. And specifically in Dart, when talking about inheritance, we need to understand three keywords extends, implements, and mixin. But before that, Let's go back to what we were doing before. We were talking about classes and all the different things about them. Inheritance depends on classes. So let's start with a class person and let's give this person a couple methods. We could say void, say hello, and just print hello everyone. We could give it another function void eat and print, I'll order some efficient chips or anything else. And once we have this class person, we can make another class student and our student will extend person. And that should have the yes at the end. And what this extend will do is extends takes all of the functions and all of the variables from the parent class and gives them to our child class. In this case, the child class is student and the parent class is person. So to show an example, I could say person, new person. And in fact, what you'll very often see is just person, person equals person and student, student equals student. I know this might look a tiny bit strange if you're not used to it. Uh, basically what this is saying is person is the class and a class of course is also a type. So a person is the variable name of type person. And then on this side, we're using that constructor to say, give me a new person, a new instance of that person object. And here is the same thing, but with students instead. We've seen that this has these two functions. I can say person dot say hello and person dot eat. And then I can say dot v12 slash fit 12 dot. And you can see it does exactly what it expects. Hello everyone, <laughs> and I misspelled it. And I'll order some fish and chips for the second method. But the same way I do that with person, I can also do that with my students. So even though I haven't defined anything, the students has the exact same methods. And the reason students has the exact same methods is because of this extends keywords. Now you might be wondering, why would I ever want to do this if I already have a person class or why do I need a student class? Well, as the extends word kind of means, you can add more functions or more variables to this class and reuse the previous code, the one in person, but also add to it. So a student not only has everything that a person has, but a student might also have a study function, which might just print out, I don't know, um, I gotta get that A plus, for example. And now as you expect, I can say students.study, this is fine, there's no error. But if I say person to study, this is going to give me an error because a person doesn't have this. The method study isn't defined for the type person. It doesn't make sense for a person to study unless they are a student. So that's why we would use the extends keyword to take all the code from the previous class, but also to give us a bit of extra code if we need it. But we do also have another well, another two keywords, uh, but one keyword which is really interesting is implements. If I have another class and I'll call this one rebel, instead of extending person, a rebel implements person. Implements takes all of the functions and variables from the previous class person, but I need to redefine them. I can't just use them exactly the way they are. So if I say rebel, rebel equals rebel, 
and in fact, I won't even try to run it because you can see it already has the red squiggly line. It's telling me missing concrete implementation of person.eat, person.sayhello. So what I need to do is make exactly these functions with the same names and the same arguments. So void, say hello. And when I use the implements keyword, I'm showing that I do want it to be a little bit different. So a rebel, rather than saying hello, he might say, why are you talking to me? <laughs> because a rebel through implements is still a person. He still does the same things, but he does those things differently. And for void eats, he might say uh, coffee and cigarettes. That's what makes him a rebel. <laughs> So now I can say rebel dot say hello, rebel dot eat. And if I run this, you can see he says, why are you speaking to me? And coffee and cigarettes. I'm using exactly the same function name. And if I try to change this to something else, I'm going to get an error because I am using that implements keyword. But my function, my method, is actually doing something different within REPL than it is within person. Now, that said, I can also override the methods within person if I use the extends keyword. And the way I would do that is I should really annotate it with at override to show people that this is done on purpose, it's not a mistake, and then just have the same function with the same return type and a student might say something like uh, ramen noodles again because he's poor he's students so now if i run this you can see the hello is kept the same for the student and for the person and in fact to make this more legible quickly going to say void separator and then just print And then like that. So now we can see that the hello function does the same thing, but eat over here and over here has been redefined. Whereas the student says ramen noodles again, the person says the default one, I'll order some fish and chips. Of course, the rebel has his own implementation of both methods, which do his own thing. So that's the difference between extends and implements. But we do have another keyword, another group, uh, another type of classes, which is a mixin. And we could say mixin driver and give a method of void drive and he prints driving nice and safe. Now with a mixin, I cannot extend it the same way I can a person. If I try to say students extends driver, it's going to give me an error because it says classes can only extend other classes. But what I can do if I want to reuse this code the same way I can with person, is say with driver. What this is going to do is give my student code first, it extends person, so it gives me all the person's code. But then on top of that, it gives me the driver's code through this with keyword. So now from students, I can say student.drive. And if I run that, we'll see driving nice and safe over here. So that works correctly. Now I can do the same thing with my rebel, but remember my rebel is, well, a rebel. <laughs> He's gonna do things differently. So instead of saying with driver, I'm going to implement driver. The same way that I can implement instead of extending, I can also implement instead of using with. And exactly the same as with person, that does mean I need to have my own my own instance of the function it's not going to be exactly the same in fact if i hover over it it's going to say exactly what you expect if i use control dots 
and over here say create one missing override you're going to get add override void drive exactly the same as here and he can just print vroom vroom cur because he's going very fast <laughs> why not and then once you have this we can also use rebel.drive and exactly as we would expect it's going to do a similar thing but the rebel one will use its own implementation rather than using the function implementation from within the driver class and one of the reasons we might want to do this is because we are constrained in how many times we can extend something if i try to extend person and driver i can't do this because each class and it's going to say it here in fact if i try to do this the compiler is going to get completely confused this just isn't allowed and the warnings and errors gives me just don't make sense but just take my word for it you cannot extend two different uh, you cannot extend two different classes so you do have to use the with and if i use this in fact i could even say students with person with rebel this does also work uh, now this particular thing would be a bit confusing because rebel has different functions but using the with keyword i can use multiple classes whereas extends only lets me use one similarly with implements i can use as many classes as i would like so let's just write that here implements lets us use multiple classes as opposed to we can only extend one class no more but we can use with for as many classes as we want okay guys so that was it for inheritance inheritance again simply means taking some variables taking methods from a parent class and giving it to the children and the way we do that in Dart is with three different keywords and that's actually with extends which is the direct inheritance implements which is which allows us to override the functions and with which also gives us direct access to the functions but we can use more than one class which we're mixing in so that was it for inheritance and the three different keywords related to it next week we're gonna continue our journey with object oriented programming so stick around for that in the meantime myself avidius i'm out